Welcome back to Couched. It's me, Carson Kressley, and I'm very excited. We have the president with us today. Well, actually, the president of Philips Collection, one of my favorite design resources. They are an internationally known company, uh, an award-winning furniture brand, and our guest is the CEO and president. He's a businessman, a father, and I think uh, really a storyteller. So let's bring out my friend, Mark Phillips. Hello. Oh, look at you. Thank you. Come Thank on you up so here. Much. I think you know this chair. I'm familiar with Thanks this chair. Nice to me. see you again. Look at you. Wow, I look at those shoes. I needed something Carson worthy. Those are really, yeah, I'm all like, you know, conservative and look at you with the metallic rainbow shoes. They're amazing. Thank you. And the jacket, look at you. A little true to High Point University. Yeah, and, and the purple. Supporting our local I, institutions. I love it, yeah. I always think of you, um, I know you live in Greensboro, North Carolina, yes. uh, but I feel like you're like a world traveler. You're like, the Jacques Cousteau or like the, uh, is it David Attenborough of like design because you are always going to incredible places uh, to find these amazing things. We have so much on set today from your company and even our set design, these big giant, I don't even know what that is um, <laughs> or where that's from, but it all came from Philips Company. It did indeed. Philips and Collection. Philips Collection and that in fact is a great green story. Yeah. This is a, a product we call Chainsaw. Oh, this one, yes. This particular one, and, and uh, it's interesting. When we source products, we'll sometimes get the trunk of a tree. Mm -hmm. We never require that a tree be cut down when roads are widened, schools are being built, or hospitals are being built. Okay. We buy the cleared trees, Good and we you. take what we can get, and we celebrate the defects and problems. Mm -hmm. It's easy to I use. I do the same with my face. I want to show, we have a great clip actually, because great, that'll you're, show. You're, you're like, when I think of like, um, I was thinking about this earlier, Philips Collection, it's not even, I was going to say they're whimsical pieces, but they're beyond that. Whimsical is like a checkerboard teapot. You guys do like these amazing, magical, uh, conversation starting uh, pieces that make a space. And I think we have a clip of you and your, is it your son, right? Our tagline is every piece of conversation and it's something that is part of our DNA. That means that every piece has a history behind it. When people see it in a home, they ask, where did this come from? What's the genesis? And we like to share that story. Sometimes the story is as simple as just explaining where we went to get it. So it's that conversation that we wanna generate. We don't wanna just bring furniture to market. We wanna bring something significant into people's homes. I love to explore. I love to unearth. I love the education that nature is giving me. We have to dig deep to find the essence. And in partnership with our talented designers, we can coax this beauty out of the world. The veining of a tree, the spiraling of a mollusk shell, the way that geodes form over millennia. Great design surrounds us, and we love to pull that from nature. We want our products to bring a smile to people's faces. We want them to say, how did that happen? How did that come about? We want to tell a story. I love that video. First of all, congratulations, it's beautiful. Um, but I think it really explains that you guys, you know, travel the ends of the earth to find these amazing pieces that aren't just great design and aren't just great pieces of nature, but they're the conversation starter of a room. What's, what are some of the most amazing places you've been? Going to the mines of Brazil is quite exciting. Yeah, the, and is that like in the jungle somewhere or where do you go in Brazil? It's far south in Brazil in okay. a mountainous area. It's interestingly, amethyst is found always at 700 feet of altitude in mm. all of the neighboring young mountains. And okay. So we go into these mines that are dynamited away and we discover these protrusions and jackhammer them out and wow. bring them back to the factory, polish them, and then courageously slice them, hoping that we've not mm -hmm. broken into any of what nature has formed. And how did, you, how did you start your company? Were you already doing this, and then you were like, we should I was monetize not, I, this? I came from a different world. Huh? Okay. The quick story is I ran a hi-fi and video company oh. in South Florida. Okay. My father and mother were dealers of ancient Southeast Asian Buddhist mm. and Hindu sculpture. Okay. And they asked me to take a trip with them and see what they were doing, and it was fabulous. 
taking a year of absence from my other job. I was mm -hmm. in Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Bali, Thailand. And wow. I was smitten with the travel and the opportunity, and it was clear that that was the path I was going to take. Okay. Can people buy your stuff in regular stores? Where do they where we do we find it? We have lovely dealer partners throughout. Our best partner is right here at Furniture Land South in High okay. Point, which has the whole line and takes advantage of our warehousing. We have 400,000 feet of treasures okay and it's accessible through our partners and can people look at it online or they have to go to furniture land south or another vendor or an interior designer they obviously can look could online buy it. we have an extensive very user-friendly website called philipscollection.com okay no magic there you can see our videos and understand the path we take to bring these products to real right. life. Right. Well, we are going to hear the stories behind some of these amazing pieces we have on set. We're going to play a little game. We're going to be right back. Uh, and Lee Robinson's going to join us again. Fantastic. And uh, don't go anywhere. Wow, give it up for Roy and Cookie bringing us back from our break. Thank you. Now, uh, welcome back to Couch. We have our two amazing guests, Lee Robinson and Mark Phillips. And we're going to play a little game. It's called Origin Stories. And um, every Phillips Collection furniture piece is meant to be a conversation starter. And um, you are no stranger, Mark, to storytelling. I think that's kind of what you do with every piece in your collection. So uh, you are going to be tasked with pitching an origin story to Lee and myself. And uh, we're going to have to try and figure out um, if he's fibbing. Ah, okay. And it's not really the origin story at all, or if it's true. So it's kind of like true or false. Yeah, 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 I love that. Um, but with, that. you know, sculpture. So, yeah. um uh, and then, you know, we'll see who gets it right. And what do we win? Uh, you win, uh, what do they win? You win this, <laughs> this orb. Oh, oh that was, lovely. yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, I think you just um, run the orb. It's, an, it's a dinosaur's gallstone. Uh -huh. um, so we'll put that right there. Uh -huh. We'll have the story. So we'll... Okay, so let's start. Mark, let us have it. All right, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this. Okay. This is the root of a teakwood tree. I believe that. I believe that too. And it was long ago felled and was just a blight on the farm side and right. made the land unusable. Okay. So we dug the perimeter of the root that we found attractive mm -hmm. and we tried to cut it with a chainsaw to be able to remove it. Right. But there were lots of rocks intertwined between these roots. Okay. And every time the chainsaw hit a rock, right. it broke the chainsaw. Okay. So the solution, of course, was to go out and buy a fire truck. Of course, so, as well, one that makes does. perfect sense. So we actually <laughs> went out and bought a fire truck, a decommissioned Toyota two-man pumper, and when we harvest teakwood roots, okay. we go with a fire truck, blast away the the lodge, the rocks, right, with and high, are able uh, with high-powered high water. water, and then we're able to cut it out, move it back to the factory, and perfect it. Okay. So you polish it back in the factory? We polish it back in the factory, but of course we need fire trucks to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, what do you think, Lee? Teak makes sense. I believe that. I yes, believe the you. story. I don't know about the fire truck story, but... <laughs> I feel I like Mariska else. Hargitay yeah, on right? CSI. <laughs> um, I, the fire truck story is too cuckoo bananas to have been made up. Yeah. So I feel I like, think this is true. I think that makes sense. We think it's true. It's a true story. Yay! Yay we won! We're going to get that orb. Yes, okay. Can't wait. Let's move Turn on to up. some of these pieces right here. Well, the orb is made of petrified wood. I and believe it's, that. It's 10 million years old. Okay. And the way that petrified wood is formed, it's actual real wood, but it is exposed to such dramatic, rapid, climactic changes mm -hmm. that the character of the wood actually gets petrified. It's frightened by the changes of the climate, huh. and it forms okay. this hardened shell. So this is how we have developed petrified wood products. Well, when I get are, frightened, I form a hardened shell, so right. that makes sense. <laughs> I believe this is petrified wood. How do you get it to be um, a sphere? We polish it. Okay. It's a little more brittle than the normal right. wood, it's really but it's heavy. dense and it, it is. It almost uh, feels like marble. It does. It's beautiful. You know, I can't tell. Though. Are we being I, taken here? I no, can't. I think this. I, this sounds like a real story. 
Okay. I feel like that's a true story. Well, it's not an entirely true story. Oh. Ah, it, it is petrified so. wood, right? But it isn't afraid of the climate. Oh. Actually, when a tree falls and uh -huh. it's covered with lava or something to keep it from being oxidized. Okay. Yeah. Over thousands and even millions of years, water flows and replaces the cellular material of the tree with stones and other elements. So huh. this had carbon throwing, going through it and quartz to develop How do the you know all this, Mark? He's like Mr. Wizard. I mean, he is. So this is like not, a a, not a rapid freeze, right. frightened process, but a very long, sculpting by nature. Okay. Then when we have the material, we cut it into usable form. That was like a trick question. Yeah, a right? Tricky. I kind of thought so. Are we talking about these wooden pieces as well? I can tell you about these wood pieces. Or were these just to support the ore? No, this okay. has its own, every piece of conversation. Okay. I have to be true yeah. to that. Look at this. So what is it, first of all? So we saw a lightning strike a tree and it formed the most incredible pattern. So we mm. said we have to figure out how to do this on smaller pieces. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we actually, this is mango wood from the north of it's Thailand. Mm -hmm. And we actually ran a conductive material on it and then took a very high voltage anode and cathode and put uh -huh. it at either end okay. and electrocuted the wood. My goodness, And so believe it or not, <laughs> The path that the current took yeah. mm -hmm. follows the exact shape of the tree. The DNA of the tree is displayed in the, in the path that the electricity uh. took running current through it. Now it it's sense. getting all crazy up in here. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. It sounds a little Dr. Frankenstein-like. I mean, you right. actually buy all that equipment to do this? We, we have, it's not very complicated equipment. Right. You just oh. have to run a voltage through it and a conductive fluid, but it's, it the, like the it's story is that it recreates the shape of the tree itself. I have this same pattern on my thigh, <laughs> in a varicose vein. Um, I have a doctor I, for that. I feel like, um, what do you think, Lee? You know, I don't know, I, I wanna believe the story, but I'm gonna say this one might not be true. I think this is true. You do? I feel like the, um, this looks like an electrical current running through the wood. Uh, it does, it, and it, it looks like a it. tool though. Maybe oh, could have been used. Oh, do you think the tool was know. used? No, I don't know, you're probably right. Lo sock it to us, what's the real Entirely story? Entirely true story. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. The, the pattern that it wants to form oh, is, wow. is the imprint of its DNA. And when you said it's the, the image of the tree, I, you mean the tree it, looked like this? The tree looked like that. What? The root structure of the tree. That's it's crazy. A, it's just amazing what data is That's carried in this little cell. That's a fun Right. The um, trick was to coax it out, and we figured out wow, a way by man. watching nature. You're amazing. Do this. Um, let's move on to my favorite. I I'm love the horsey. Step around so we can um, see it over here. I, you know. I think I need to have this. He's so cute. Um, tell us feet. about this guy. We discovered an artist in Indonesia who has never not won first prize in his artistry. Okay. We take stainless steel pipe, often used in surgical application. Okay. And weld every one of these pieces together. It's actually done in a mold on oh two sides gosh. and then put together. Right. There are 5,000 welds. It's a spectacular piece and it works outdoors as well How as How long in. does this take to do this? It takes this? weeks and weeks of a team to do this. But right. the, the outcome is, the, out, the result is phenomenal. So this is an original piece of art? It's an, well, we have more of them because we've right. now created the structure that models it. Each one's okay. gonna be a little yeah, different. Yeah, each one varies a bit. And we right. have a rearing horse and a galloping horse yeah. and a walking horse. So what, is the, what are we believing here? That, that we welded each one of these pieces together in a mold and that it is recreatable. I totally believe that. These don't look like they're welded. Well, maybe. Well, but look, look you see here. the subtle tack. I see been, them, yeah. And see the mane? The Yo, the mane, definitely. Um, okay, I'm gonna, what do you think, true? I think true. Yeah. I think true. That's a true story. Oh gosh, we're so yes. smart, Lee. We are geniuses. Okay, let's move on to the next one. And then last but not least, I love this. This looks like a lady to me. You're exactly right. And very um, kind of Giacometti maybe. It is Giacometti, yeah. Um, and so what's the story here? Well, first I have to do a quick brag. Last night were the Pinnacle Awards mm -hmm. where the, uh, the International Society of Furniture Designers vote right. on the 
products. Yeah. This won the best accessory offered. Ah. So we were very proud to have a Pinnacle Award. And Great. here is my story. Okay. Where I'm the ready. tectonic plates collide in Indonesia. Yeah. These stones splinter off. Okay. And they look exactly like this. And in partnership with our Indonesian artisans, uh -huh. they sculpt the symbols of the proud women going back after a day of work with their head held high uh -huh. in, in a family. And we actually have six of these figures that go, and sometimes we'll portray them in a circle. But we, it, these right. were originally about 2,000 pounds each, but again, with our skills in casting, these are now 200 pounds. Oh, that's perfect. Work indoor oh, it's not really and stone. out. It it's is? not stone. Is this fiberglass? It's fiberglass. Look, I, it's like I have superhuman strength. Like I can lift, <laughs> I can lift the car off of a baby. Twice you've been uh, able to do that. These are great. And we are putting real stone in the finish so okay. that it, it has the feel, the right. coldness so of the a stone, not, does, not yeah. the inert feel that a plastic would have. I feel like that story is true. And these are working women? I mean, these this is are, at the end of the day of work, they proudly well, they go. They must have worked their arms and hands to yeah, off. off completely. Yeah, right. They're so tall. Hardworking women. Maybe they're supermodels. Uh, yes, I like that. I um, believe this. I, I know think, that it's not real stone, but I right. believe. I, the, I believe the story of the inspiration. Yeah, I do too. The story are is we true. Right? The story, the story is, is true. true. It is right. true. Yeah. That's Tectonic fantastic. plates and all. Wow. So I think we will write most of the time, I right? I think so, yes. yeah. Um, so we're definitely we're taking, taking the, the sphere. Orb. We're taking the orb home. <laughs> uh, for more information on Philips Collection, they can go to... PhillipsCollection.com. .com, you can see all of this great stuff. And of course, you can find Lee W. Robinson yep. online at all social media. Thanks for watching Couched. We'll see you next time on The Sofa. Yeah.